We are forever safe, honey. One safe, forever safe. The Bible says. Safe, forever safe. Hi, Team Resume Christians. I'm coming through with the content. Your test is coming through with the content, okay? And if you're appreciating it, please do hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you can get notified of the videos. Some of you have been telling me that you've not been seeing my videos on your newsfeed. It's important that you hit the notification button, okay? I'm trying to give you as much value and content as I can with all the different things that are happening in my life. You know, you guys know I'm a mum of two, wife, working, side hustles, everything, ministry, things going on, but... I want to make sure that I can stay consistent here. So do support me by subscribing. Give me some love with the chat donations and um, I really appreciate that. One saved forever saved. The never ending debate saga. Okay, there's not even going to be a long cliffhanger on this video. I'm going to go straight to my reason and, and my opinion. I don't believe in one saved forever saved. I believe... You are saved when you believe when you believe in Christ and you take him as your Lord and Savior. You confess him as your Lord and Savior. You're saved. But does not mean saved. Does not mean you can now live whatever life you want to live and then still enter the kingdom of God. So I have a group where we recently did a discussion about this, and I found that those who believed in one saved forever saved. Their point of view was, sin cannot make me lose my salvation. But the point is, it's not about sin. Let me actually go back a little bit. I think I'm jumping ahead a little bit. So there's this theory going on, first of all, that people believe that, some people believe that once they are saved, they can never lose their salvation. That no matter what happens in their life, after they've confessed Christ as their Lord and Saviour, they are saved. They will make it to heaven regardless. And I guess the only way they believe that you could lose your salvation if you personally renounce Christ as your Lord and Saviour again. But there's a fundamental problem with that. And I will back this with scripture as to why I believe it is not one safe forever saved. You know, the Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Work out your salvation. What does this work out your salvation mean? Is it not just already done? Am I not just already saved? What do I need to work out? We must grow in the knowledge of God. We must continue in our walk with God and seeking him. I will first of all debunk that I do not believe that it is the sin that makes you to lose your salvation the fact of the matter is all of us sin every single day we sin we sin in our hearts we sin in our minds even a, a bad thought about someone is a sin even you know what does it say when you look after someone lustfully it's like you've already committed that that is a sin so we sin every day so it is not sin itself that makes you lose your salvation it's having a repentant heart it is the state of your heart that keeps your salvation. You cannot live a double life. Your heart cannot be in other places. Your treasure cannot be in other places other than the kingdom of God. That is where your number one treasure should be. The, Jesus said the first and most important commandment is love your, the Lord your God. The person you love is your everything. The person you love is your focus. The person you love is the person you spend your time with, you spend your resources on, you spend everything on because that's where your heart is. The Bible says where your treasure is, where your heart is, that's where your treasure is, whether it's in the heavens or on the earth. So this one saved, forever saved, does not talk about living in sin. Even that is wrong, yes. Purposely living in sin already shows that your heart is not in the right place. Your heart is not in the heavenlies. Your heart is in the things of the earth. 
already that's making you lose your salvation. Your heart is out of the things of God. You are enjoying the things that displease God. Let me give you the scripture. In Luke 18, we see a rich man coming to Jesus, asking him, how can I enter the kingdom of God, right? So Luke 18 verse 22 says, so when Jesus heard these things, he said to him, you still lack one thing, sell all that you have and distribute it to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me. But when he heard this, he became very sorrowful for he was very rich, 24. And when Jesus saw that he became very sorrowful, he said, how hard is it for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through in the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Amen. And this scripture was often misconstrued as to say that God doesn't want people to be rich. Far from that. The Lord wants you to actually have wealth. However, it is the importance of your heart, your treasure not being in those material things. When Jesus asked the rich man, sell your goods, he, the rich man became sorrowful because that's where his treasure is. That's what did to him. He was finding it hard to let go of that. When Jesus saw that reaction, Jesus himself became sorrowful because he now knew, yeah, your heart is in those treasures. And that's why you're not able to enter the kingdom of God. The state of your heart is what determines you entering the kingdom of God after accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. Are you able to give up anything? Is anything in your life number one above God? That is your checkpoint. Is anything above God? Do you feel you have to compromise your life because of what people think? Are people's opinion above God's opinion of you? Is people's opinion above what God is asking you to do? Is this desire stronger than your desire for God? It is the state of your heart that determines your salvation. And the thing is, it is something that we must work on every single day. The word says at the renewal of your mind, daily renewing your mind, working out your salvation is a, is a constant thing. Working out is a process. You do not finish until you finish. You have not entered until you enter. In the word it says, some shall see the kingdom of God, but they shall not enter the kingdom of God. What does that mean? They have seen the kingdom, right? In their lifetime, they have seen the things of God. They've seen you know, the, 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 the majesty of God, but they were not able to enter. There's two different levels. And that should tell you that it's not one saved forever safe. It is a process. And the biggest misconstrued or misknowledge that what people are having is thinking that when people are saying not safe, one safe forever safe, they're talking about sin. No, we're not talking about sin. Yes, sin is a factor. Purposely sinning is a factor, but that's already an indication of where your heart is if you're purposely sinning. We're talking about the state of your heart. Are you broken for Christ? Are you broken for him? Is your ego too big? Is your pocket too large? Is your societal standing too big? Return to your first love. As long as there is life within you, you still have a chance. It is never too late. Anyone who tells you it's too late, anyone who tells you too far gone, they are a liar and they're talking through the father of all lies, the devil. So long as there's life within you, you can come out of it. You can live a victorious life. And if you don't know where to start, I'm availing myself. You can contact me. I can help you pray. I can help you talk through some of the things. But make that first bold step and know that you're not alone and know that there's greatness within you that is waiting to be established in the land of the living 
All right, guys. God bless you all. I wish you all a wonderful time. Do check out my website for all my coaching packages and some free content and resources that I've put all in the description button below. And I shall see you all in my next one. God bless you all. Bye-bye.